Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make whip lights go from this. When you hit the brakes, they turn, turn red. They also have a turn signal function, which I don't have on mine, I don't drive it down the street, but the whip lights have the turn signal function to where one will turn and the other one, or the other one will turn, depending on which turn signals you got on. So let's go over what comes in the package. For the combo, you get two whip lights and they are marked right and left. I'll show you why later. Uh, you don't get these mounts. They do offer one that comes with the mounts, but I didn't think I was going to need them and I ordered these off Amazon. I'll show you the link to these in the description later. Another piece that I ordered that's going to make the wiring easier, and this is kind of like a quick and easy pigtail adapter kind of thing. So this is going to plug in to where the third brake light goes on the turbo razor and it allows you to plug it into here and it gives you the wires already that I can wire this to and if I ever do the third brake light it still has the same plug. I'll put a link to that too. Oh let's see this is where the magic happens right there that's the controller for the lights comes with a remote comes with these two pieces right here which go into that make it easy and uh, let's get into the wiring, the wiring. Because these lights right here in the controller will actually have left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, and the lights, whatever, however you color you want them to go all at the same time. This is where the magic happens for any of the turn signals or brake lights for this unit. The black is gonna be the ground, the white is going to be to a brake light. So you want the white to be hot when you hit the brakes. Red is going to be hot all the time. That's for the control. That's powering the controller. And the green and yellow right here. It actually says yellow is going to be for your right turn signal and green is going to be for your left turn signal. I think that's a little different from like trailer wiring, but that's how these are set up. So you'll either need to adapt this color to what you're gonna hook it to, or flip the left and right um, whip light to make it match. But that's how these are labeled. So we're gonna go with that. And on mine, like I said, my razor does not have any kind of wiring for turn signals. So we're not actually gonna use those. And we're gonna use this pigtail right here that I showed you and it just goes it plugs right into it so what we're going to do is take these wires and it actually works out great that the black is the hot the white in this pigtail is already for the brake light and the red is going to be positive so i'm going to wire these wires up to match these wires and the whole thing will just plug into power on mine all right so i've got the bumper off so we can look at this wiring and this right here is a pre-wired for the third brake light on a XP turbo razor. So like I said, this is what I got after I spliced the wires together and this plug conveniently is made to plug into that. And like I said, I've already tested which ones of these wires go where. You got a hot, oh, get it a little fuzzy there. You got a hot, you got a brake, and then a ground which correspond with how we've got this wired. So all we're going to do to power the whip lights is plug this in and put that somewhere, the controller, and run our wires to where we're going to mount the lights. So I'm going to go ahead, plug this stuff up, zip tie everything up to where it's neat and tidy and doesn't get into anything. And then we'll get into actually mounting the whip lights. Super easy, let me show you how it goes. So our first problem we run into, this is the mount, and this does not fit in that hole. So I'm just gonna drill this hole out. It's not a big deal for me. Now, I wanna show you something. This right here, this is the mount that goes for the light. And on a razor, this right here says flag, and it's a hole. And it actually, you can mount it right here. The problem when you mount it right here, if you don't have a spring, it is sticking straight up. Now look at this. It will hit my ceiling. And it's also going to hit all the trees, everything we ever ride under. So I don't want it mounted right there. And I'm going to show you why I'm using the mounts 
and I'm gonna mount it up here, right there, at an angle coming back. So there's the lights. Of course, they don't look quite as cool because the lights are on in the garage, but here is the mount. Mount it to the roll bar right there. I can still swivel it right here, and I can actually make it go up and down if I want, or from the back, I can still make them come in, make them go out. I might turn them in just a little bit, like line them up with this bar, point it in. Maybe that one too. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know. But I definitely wanted to where they're not any higher than the roof. That's why I tilted them back like this. And I think they look good. That's what I'm going for. And that was the install of these whip lights right here from Oxbeam. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. If you want some of these, they are really cool. I like them. That's something that sets your razor apart or your side by side. And I guess you could put them on anything, boats. But these ones right here, again, these are a little different because they've got the controller in them that you can do turn signals and also the brake lights, which... I really like because it's just something different a little different and they got lots of different settings just like most of the RGB lights do you can change them they got lots of different you know settings where they go back and forth blink red purple orange they got a whole bunch of different colors but the theme on mine is red or uh, is blue it's not red the theme on mine is blue so I just like the blue lights and it's something cool for when everybody's following you at nighttime. So appreciate everybody watching. Hope to see you guys out on the trails.